Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I have an independent horror movie review for the directorial debut from fellow YouTuber David James Parker and his first film of Slimy Little Bastards. Um, this is a absolute zero, no budget, zero budget um, anthology horror film. And, um, you know, look at that artwork, guys. That, I mean, if you're into no-budget independent horror films, if you see that cover, you're going to want to see this film, guys. I mean, look at that. Isn't that fucking awesome? I love it. I love it. It's fucking great, man. So, there are three stories to this film. It starts off, it shows this guy, it's kind of like a... Um, He's a real off-kilter, like, cult leader-like looking type dude. And um, this guy shows up to his house, which is Keith Voigt Jr., which has done Lust and Army, um, and some independent films. And um, he shows up there to, Keith Voigt Jr. is playing his character, shows up to his house. And this, this strange, weird, cultish type dude has these little jars at his house. And for each one, he has this story. It's like this slime type shit. And it reminds me of that shit you had as a kid that you played with. Like the slimy type shit. And uh, the first one, the first story that he tells is called Organic Shit. Um, it tells a story of this guy that is eating breakfast. And um, he's eating eggs and shit. And it's, it's, it's funny as shit because he's like smelling his fork and smelling his knife as he's eating these eggs. And there's this weird green shit in his sink. So he calls in this maintenance man and one thing leads to another and there's this creature that ends up popping up. I, I really, it, you know, within with these short anthology films, it's hard to say a lot without giving, you know, the whole plot away. So I'll just leave it at that. There's this weird green shit. This creature pops up and, you know, all this, you know, crazy shit within this apartment starts to happen. Um, then we go back to the cultish leader, and he has the other, you know, jar of the slimy shit. And he tells this other story called Brain Busters. And it's of this woman who is having these headaches. She calls in this uh, in-home doctor, says she's depressed and shit. He gives her this bottle, this... Um, like this little vial thing, like bottle vial slash thing that is like, um, it, there's no label on it. He tells her to take this medicine and shit and all this. Well, she starts having these strange nightmares of these creatures and the killing people. And, you know, it just drives her into madness. And then the third story is called Krusty's. Um, and in this one, we see two construction workers. They're sitting there eating their lunch. There's this radioactive sign behind them. And the one guy takes a bite of a sandwich, which is played by David James Parker, who directs the film. And he's got this green shit on a sandwich, but he still eats it. And afterwards, he ends up, like, his stomach's hurting. It shows him driving home. He's like, oh, my God, I've never had this shit so bad. He gets home. His roommates, <laughs> they're sitting there, and they're, and they're trying to come up with this uh, new role-playing game and shit. They're all going around trying to figure out the rules of this role-playing game. Um, he gets super sick. He shits his brains out. There's this creature. There's all this fog and shit coming out of his toilet. And, of course, there's another creature. Um, and in this film, guys, uh, the, the underground independent filmmaker, Dustin Mills, which did uh, Her Name is Torment, Bath Salt Zombies, uh, Apple Car. He's done several independent films. He's in all three of these. And there's another guy, the cultish leader type guy. He's in all of them, um, too. Uh you know, so they're all in this, and and you know, it's like I said, guys. If you are not into no budget films, this isn't something you're gonna like. I mean, I can guarantee it. Like, if you're into something that has like big budgets or you know stuff like that, you're gonna probably watch this film and be you know having a about face like. But if you are into underground horror cinema that is fun, that has a lot of heart, and you know there there's a charm to it, you know, and 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 it's it's like 
It's having, you know, a passion about cinema and wanting to make a film and just doing it. You know, you don't have any budget, but you have some friends, you have a camera, you want to make a film, and you don't really give a fuck if people like it. You don't really give a fuck, you know, if it's put out there. That's what this film is is, is all about. And I know there's people that watch this channel that's going to like this film, you know, but like I said, it is there this does have a particular audience, you know, for sure. Um but I loved how it was put together, guys. Like I said, it's extremely cheap. And, you know, there's variances in sound and in the lighting of scenes. It's definitely a zero-budget type film. But if you can appreciate that and just appreciate, you know, a passion for wanting to make a film, I think you guys will enjoy this film. I liked it. I had a good time with it. And I'm not just saying that because I know Dave... And I've met Dustin, and I know, you know, Keith Foyt and all that. This, I, I like stuff like this, guys. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know, you know, I don't review independent films as much as I used to, but I will always have a place in my heart for films like this. It was fun. This was a damn good time to me, you know, and it's really cool. It's, there's a nice presentation to the DVD. Um, there's a nice 50-minute long um uh, extra on here where it's interviews with the cast and crew. I've not got to watch that yet. I actually still have this on in my living room. I have it on pause. I only watched like two minutes of it. It starts right off with Dave talking about how he's reviewed uh, films on YouTube forever. He's made several connections and how he's always loved uh, anthology films and creature films. And that's as far as I got. I paused it because I wanted to do this review right now so I can get it up on YouTube. Um, why well, I have time to do it, you know, um, and yeah, it's called Pizza Poop and Pals Documentary, but it's really cool, you know, 49 minutes long, and guys, this total film running time is 66 minutes long, so it's a, it's a quick, short film, you know, that I think many of you that can appreciate underground cinema are going to like this film and enjoy it a lot. Now, as far as where you can get it, guys, I'm not real sure because I know you can't just go on Amazon and pick this up. As far as I know right now, this film does not have any type of distribution. But I know you can get a hold of Dave, Dave Parker right here on YouTube, Mr. Parker, uh, Dave James Parker on face, uh, Facebook, uh, Mr. Parka on Instagram, so it's easy to track him down and, and be able to get a hold of a copy of this film, guys. So, that is, there's the back right there, if you guys want to pause that and read that there. I think you guys can see that. That is Slimy Little Bastards, guys. I had a really good time with this film. I think it's a nice addition to the underground horror cinema, and, and it's just really cool to see Dave make this film, man. You know, I've known Dave for a lot of years, and it's just, it, it I, you know, just out of the blue, Dave, I know Dave had this film pop up, and it's like, man, that's, that's really fucking cool, you know? I mean, it, I think it's awesome. So, guys, I hope you guys will check this out. If it's something you think you guys will watch and think you guys will like, um... But yeah, a lot of guys that watch this channel, I think you're going to enjoy this film, guys. So check it out, guys. Get a hold of Dave James Parker and check this out, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, guys. Later.